So you're thinking of moving to Austin, Texas. Well, in today's video, we're just going to do a quick drive through of downtown Austin. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. It's Dominique here. And in today's video, we are just taking a chill drive through downtown Austin. It, uh, this was about 3.30 the other day. I was showing a house just south of the river. And so I thought I would just take a quick video for y'all. Excuse the windshield. I know it's dirty next time if I do this. <laughs> soon I will make sure to clean it better or make sure to clean it at all but anyway this is me driving down Guadalupe uh, it's actually Guadalupe but everybody in Austin pronounce it Guadalupe so I am heading towards Cesar Chavez so you'll see some sites here in Austin this is Cesar Chavez Road we are about to cross the South First Bridge. So this is heading south over the bridge over Lady Bird Lake. And so when people are talking about crossing the river and possibly traffic, this is what they're talking about because depending on where you're going, if you're coming in to downtown for work, it can be there can be a lot of traffic going over this bridge heading into town. So now we are turning onto West Riverside and I didn't get a great video, but on the left, we're passing the Long Center, which has a lot of cool events, comedians coming into town, music, just kind of random things they hold there. Also, we're passing the, um, we're also passing Auditorium Shores. And then on the right here is just a nice little park that people hang out at the C.B. Ray Vaughn statues on the right. And there's also a dog park over here. It's just a really fun area to come hang out and enjoy the lake. There's also, you know, like I said, outdoor concerts and movies in the park out here. Just some fun things going on. And then also, of course, there's just a beautiful view of downtown Austin. You can see a bunch of the high rises, which the skyline is gorgeous. It has changed a lot over the last five, 10 years. Another fun thing, um, like I said, there's always things going on around here. I actually went to Salsa in the park last summer. Yeah, I guess I didn't go this year, um, but they do it over by the bridge and it's really fun, just a little group of people. So there's always something going on. It's always people to meet, places to go, things to do. So I'm headed down Riverside here and about to hit South Lamar. And there is an entrance over here to the hike and bike trail around Lady Bird Lake. If y'all don't know, Lady Bird Lake used to be called Town Lake. So if you ever hear anybody talking about Town Lake, that's what they're talking about until it was renamed to Lady Bird Lake. So, but yeah, there is a great trail that goes all around Lady Bird Lake and you can go all the way to the east side and it's just really beautiful it's really fun um, one thing to know about Lady Bird Lake is there is no swimming in Lady Bird Lake you can do paddle boarding canoeing you know hang out there but uh, definitely no swimming and then this is me on the South Lamar Bridge heading back towards downtown and you'll see again some of the high-rises on the right there's some apartment communities and then there's other residential you know condo communities I love this little bridge just with all the graffiti art and coming up here on the right is going to be Whole Foods this is their flagship store 
and also where their headquarters is located. And then there's some other shops, hair salons. Um, there's anthropology nearby. There's a book people, which is a local Austin bookstore. That's really cute. And this is at the corner of West 6th. And so I'm gonna take a left heading west to get onto Mopac. And like I said before, it is around 3.30 p.m. when I filmed this. So as you can see, it's pretty busy. It starts to get pretty busy quite early. So about three o'clock or so, you'll see once I get over to Mopac, there are there's already traffic. <laughs> it's pretty busy. But yeah, this is headed down West 6th. And there's just some businesses down this way. On the right hand side, there is a historical neighborhood called Clarksville that is very popular, obviously due to proximity to downtown. There's some beautiful historical homes in that neighborhood. And it's just super cute. Lots of beautiful houses there. And then this is the entrance to Mopac, and I am headed north here onto Mopac. This area has changed quite a bit over the last several years. They added an on-ramp and um, they added a toll. So it's a little bit confusing if you lived in Austin for a while because it's just changed a bunch. They have a one-lane toll that goes both north and south, so that kind of helps you know, in rush hour. I don't use it all the time, but if I'm in a rush and I'm short on time, then I definitely will hop on there and it does save time. I don't even know how much it is. I don't want to know how much it is. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, this is rush hour traffic headed north on Mopac. Mopac gets pretty busy. Um, 35 is probably still worse, but Mopac's pretty bad if you've heard of it but yeah these are the two main highways in Austin and how everybody gets around so yeah guys well that is just a little glimpse into Austin on a random day in November of 2023 let me know if you have any questions if you're thinking of moving to Austin I would love to help you I'd love to connect with you so drop me a line I have my email in the description as always or you can also leave a comment below and thanks again so much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay connected with me. And I will see y'all very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.